Don't you love VR? It's the only way to appropriately fall over nothing and still look cool in the process. As a game developer, I find VR fascinating. It's got all the fun quirks you wish you had in game consoles growing up for a relatively decent price point. And I personally have postponed developing VR games for a good two years. I even bought an Oculus Rift S to develop with. It has spent a comfortable two years gathering dust, except for the first few weeks where I played a lot of Beat Saber. What? It's a good game. Now, why is this relevant? Well, once upon a time, in a uni far, far away, I created a VR project called Kingdom Defense, and just like any new developer starting out, I had no clue what I was doing. I remember trying really hard to make it, and I was really proud of it, but look how the graphics turned out. It's like a really poorly optimized virtual reality Nintendo game. Having replayed it recently, it doesn't hold up to my standards. It doesn't run on my Nvidia 3070 either, which is a massive red flag in itself. And even with its troubles, it was my trouble and I love it. Now, fast forward almost five years and I have a skill set a bit more refined in the game development area. And having rekindled my passion for VR, I want to try and recreate a spiritual successor to that old game of mine. A new and approved Kingdom Defense, one might call it a new Super Kingdom no, I can't get that. With this in mind, I also have a conundrum to tackle. I don't know VR anymore. We've walked our different paths. He grew up and so did I. But we've come back together and I just don't understand him no more. VR has changed and in the past, I used the Oculus SDK and now it's the XR Toolkit. What is that? I'm not sure, but this is fine. Fortunately, there are some fantastic sources out there. In my search for tutorials on the subject, I stumbled upon two holy grails of VR development. One is VR Andrew, and the other one is Valum, or Valum. They have amazing resources on the subject of VR. It's been about four hours since I started. I followed a few basic tutorials on XR, and I've made a ball disappear and reappear using the new input system. Watch this. With my newfound knowledge, I want to challenge myself something never seen before. It's a firing range. While simple in concept, it will require me to learn how to interact with VR objects, which sounds easy, but it's actually quite not. So I want a nice fun target shooter, and it needs to have a gun, targets, particles, and- well, that's a lot of damage! Let's start with the gun. I've stole, I mean borrowed, an asset from a project that I've worked on, and a good friend of mine was the one who made it, I'll link his profile down below. So how do I use this? It's all great having it, but I need it to be a functioning bullet firing machine. And that requires actually quite a bit of work. Cue the montage. So with this done, I have a gun. It's not just any gun. The general idea is as follows. You take a point on the controller hand, and when you interact with an object, it gets snapped to that certain position and certain rotation. Once my gun was actually capable of destroying something, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. I could focus on the target practice area. For this, I summon target in attack mode. It's a traditional looking target, similar to the ones that you find in the Wii Archery game. To get the effect of hitting the target, I've taken three colliders of varied shapes to check where the bullet has hit. But another issue arises. How do you track a bullet that's traveling faster than the physics engine can cope? Let me break it down for you real quick. The reason for this is that when you start having really fast projectiles, they start becoming less reliable and travel fast enough to actually pass through things rather than collide with it. One way to check this is to have the bullet check its last position against its current one and then do what's called a line cast in between to see if it hits anything and whatever it hits, it contacts with. Shooting targets is fun, but how do I visualize it? Well, I got a lot of inspiration for the hit counters from old FPS games where you can see the damage you deal in real time. To attempt the same kind of effect, I attached a UI element to the target itself, which when shot, sends a message telling how bad your shot was. This then gets displayed above the target in a small animation. And with this, the game is practically done. I now have the ability to shoot a target along with destroying the fabric of reality with just a small gun. This isn't really a game so much as a limited target practice with only 10 to 15 targets in it though. I need to build a small game manager to handle the logic of spawning in targets at different intervals. This gives the impression that you're actually working towards something. Next, to add some UI for player feedback and all done. The game is done. Two game modes, UI elements for a retro style text font and a poorly chosen music track being played from a very out of place radio. Sounds great. So here's the end result.
I'm proud of myself. This is something which took an entire weekend to build, filled with ups and downs, now having years of experience helped. When I started VR very many millennia ago, it was a lot harder to implement anything because there just weren't any tutorials out there. But now, YouTube is completely filled with people in the industry that make VR for a living. And this means that I, as a indie developer, just get all this knowledge for free. I hope you've learned something along this journey and you were generally happy with the end result just as much as I was. So you're here. That means I won, right? I kept your attention for however long this video ended up being. If you want to let me win further, I have another video that you can go click somewhere on the screen. This goes over my last game jam. If you want to be one of our subscribers of the day, make sure to subscribe and let me know in the comments down below that you're a new member. You might just find yourself in a future video. Goodbye.